hello once again welcome to the channel hi guys welcome back to the channel. this is your boy big b as and usual your girl suzy mm -hmm. so today we got a good one for you guys today today it's uh what are we talking about today is a life update you guys you know that at the beginning of each year we like to do a life update and this is a little late but you know it's the beginning of february so we thought why not oh yeah mm -hmm. life update yo so we look at what happened in 2021 and also look forward to 2022 yeah so without much ado or wasting time let's get it Yeah, so let's get in that. Let's get into the video. <laughs> so what kind of year did you think you had? Like, what do you think? Oh, 2021 was a very challenging year. That's a good word for it. Yeah. Challenging. It was challenging. I mean, right from January, yeah. I'll say, to probably the end of December. Yeah. It was really, really challenging and and sad and yeah. Um a, a lot of I, I think downtime. You know, like it drained us mentally and mentally financially, I think. Yeah, it did. It was that kind of year. Mentally, physically and financially. Because like the whole of the year I felt like there was uh, some kind of weight, some kind of load on me. Like it was, it was really tiring. Yeah, it was a tough year, yeah. guys. Right um, from January. I think compared to 2020, um, it was 2021 was tougher. Yeah, but I might say also is we're blessed. We went through it. It was, uh, uh, you know. It's something that we needed to go through in yeah. order to grow and learn from it. And, you know, um, God was part of it. And and we went through it. Yeah, so, exactly. So, uh, with a little bit elaboration, 2021, um, just right, I think. Starting from January, we got phone calls about. End of December, like. We got a phone call, end of December 2020. Mm -hmm. We got a phone call that my dad was not feeling well. So, you know, uh, was taken to the hospital. And that entered into 2021. 2021. And, you know, financially, it just took a toll on us. Um, um, he felt a little better because uh, they spent a lot of time, uh, you know, testing and diagnosing and he was diagnosed with uh what what cancer sorry guys lung cancer lung cancer mm -hmm. oh geez i don't know why i forgot about this yeah he was diagnosed with a lung cancer right so and you know ghana ghana they have um what do you call it um the the medical card mm -hmm. but it does not work y'all it's it's cash and carry still in ghana mm -hmm. it, it's cash and carry like the amount of you know i don't even want to go there but that's another video mm -hmm. yeah but you know and that was a very like trial time yeah. from january all the way up to um july when he passed mm -hmm. It was it was terrible yeah. and from july now we have to also um plan and go and yeah, i mean go. We, we were already planning to go to ghana but it was more like to we, go see we him go and see him yeah right 
and we just we just go because we had been home 2020 we couldn't go because of COVID-19 yeah so we thought 2021 things are better everybody's gotten used to COVID-19 mm -hmm. we know the symptoms we know this we know that about it so and now they had things in place like do your COVID testing PCR test and all that so we thought you know we'll go and visit not yeah. knowing that we will end up going, going for a funeral for his funeral yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, so 2021, um, from January up to we came back in November. From Ghana, we came back in October. October. Mm -hmm. October. It wasn't. It wasn't easy, friends. It wasn't easy. Yeah, it. But we went through it. We went through it. Yeah. So uh, the second thing on our list when we look back at 2021 is employment. Mm -hmm. Some of you remember that in 2020, I was not working. Your girl was home. And I came up with a business idea that I'm still chasing. Mm -hmm. I'm still, uh, I have a few things that I'm doing with that business. And it was basically becoming a virtual assistant for property management companies and real estate agents. And uh, it's been going good. Yeah, <laughs> but she's just, got a job. Just not as busy as I would have loved it to be. Just a few clients here and there. So I thought, hey, let me take on a full-time job since it was available through my lovely husband here. So she got a job, which is a good thing. It's a great thing. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we're both busy. So yeah, guys, it's, it's been <laughs> crazy busy. We're working. Yeah. We're trying we're, to. We're very grateful yeah, for that. We're, yeah. We're so grateful. Employment wise, um, we are trying to tie all loose ends now. Like a whole lot of cash that went. In, in 2021, 2020. mm -hmm. we have to work hard to pay for that now. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the next thing on our list is health and fitness. Whoa, don't even get me started on that, girl. Don't, because 2021, guys, I lost so much weight. He did? Oh, my God. He did. I don't know what happened, but... I lost so much weight and just from when we came back from Ghana up to now, I have put on over 20 pounds. Yeah. The shirts that he was wearing in Ghana, I think I keep repeating this every video, but it's just, it's it, mind blowing to me how it doesn't fit anymore. He was in Ghana for like a month and a half wearing these shirts. And then we came back and a month later or so, two I, months later, he can't fit. I in. can't fit in any of them. So... You need to lose weight. So Kelly. it's about time again, guys. <laughs> it's about time again. I think I I, I need to check a uh, few things and and just get back on on track because we, I'm try I'm getting out of hand again. And we we normally walk during summertime, right? Like yeah. when the weather is nice, we normally walk, and it really helps out. And uh, just now that we're both working a really tough schedule, we don't get to cook really well as, as much as we would like to. Yeah. So we're just kind of eating whatever. That's that's what's kind of not Make, helping, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. And sometimes, um, you know, our line of work, you, you get home late and you eat, you go to bed right away and, you know, it doesn't help when you want to lose weight. So, Or you really just get home and make your nice meal and when you're ready to eat, you get called back out. Anyway. Come back and then you end up not eating or you just take whatever you can take in the car and eat as you drive. So, yeah, it's, it's really tough. We have to kind of make time for cooking properly and mm -hmm. doing a little bit of exercise. 
exercise. I mean, yeah. you did visit the gym the other day. We went down. <laughs> we went, guys. I'm gonna add this clip. You have to see this clip. He went to the gym. He's like, let's go to the gym. I'm like, but you're not even dressed for the gym. He's like, no, no, no. Trust me. You'll like this one. Let's go. So we went, and guys. I'm gonna add the clip so you can see what he did at the gym. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. <laughs> okay. Now moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so we um in 2021 we had a trip to Ghana. We went to Ghana. Of course, we've already kind of covered that in the, in first, the first yeah first point. Um, where to go for the funeral? Not only one funeral, but two. Yeah. So yeah. so um. My auntie passed um, before dad. Two weeks before dad. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, it was a trip to do to to go to two funerals. Um, so yeah, our our six weeks in in Ghana was just funeral, funeral, and funeral. We just had a little. A little um like a, a weekend it wasn't even a weekend it was like a monday and i was like let's go we just got in the car and just driving we just drove to a place and just hung out for it i mean a day or two and then and then we came back yeah. i have to talk about this guys i know part of the trip was sad like the reason why we went there was sad but some of you know our wedding anniversary and his birthday are on the same day, which is September 3rd. Mm -hmm. So when the funeral, the funeral dates were being set, the elders chose September 3rd, mm -hmm. which was his birthday in yeah. our anniversary. So, so it was between uh, a week before September 3rd or the September 3rd, and that's what they chose. So... Um, we brought that home on my birthday. It was pretty. It was it was very emotional. Yeah, and very emotional, guys. And nobody remembered my birthday except yeah. my wife. Nobody. Yeah. The whole family, not even my mom, she did not remember my birthday. Yeah, but it was it was it was not an easy time for everybody. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah. It was tough. So twenty twenty one terrible. And so after that, um when we were done with the funerals we decided we were gonna do some fun stuff just to kind of you know like i think for me i had done enough of the sadness like it was so sad that i i i wanted to to do something that's gonna get my mind off mm -hmm. the sadness and it was Ghana funerals, guys. Like, I'm sorry, but they are beautiful, but they are so much work. Like work, it's, yeah. And money. It's like it's a lot of work. A lot of work it's, and a lot of money. You know, especially if the 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 person that died is somebody older and they've lived their life. So it's really like a big celebration of their life and and it's not a funeral for just you can't say it's just for the family and the closest you know uh cousins or whatever but mm. it's it's like it's it's for the whole community <laughs> the whole community guys and it's a lot of work so imagine a family putting together an event for hundreds of people mm -hmm. you know it's it's not fi financially and physically, physically yeah <laughs> i was exhausted so i told him like seriously like if we have to drive to accra market drive me to marketo i need to get out of this environment just so you know <sighs> yeah so we go who's that so yeah that's when we just drove to aqua yeah it was, aqua aqua Safari, was a nice surprise and, for and me it was yeah. uh it was nice and yeah. we had we met there with our friends mm -hmm. uh from canada from here leslie 
Yeah. And it won, and mm -hmm. we we had fun. It was a it blast. Was, it was amazing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing, like twenty four hours, oh right? Oh my god! We we spent twenty four hours with them, pretty much, yeah. right? It was just amazing. It was nice. Yeah, was I nice. I enjoyed it, and and then you know we did other stuff too that we're not gonna bore you with it, but it was fun for us. We yeah. enjoyed. Leslie, if you're watching this, we gotta do it again. Yeah. It got to happen again. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, talking about the trip to Ghana, though, I want to mention one thing. This is going to be off a little bit. I don't want to make the video too long, but I want to do a separate video on Ghana driving. Oh, okay. I tell you guys, Ghana roads and Ghana people, when it comes to there's no driving laws, I think. There's just no well, driving. Yeah, there, there is, but nobody is abiding to to any law on the road. But so of course, there guys, is. This this is gonna be part of the video. But can you imagine? We got in an accident. Hmm. Someone hit us. Like they were dry. They just like we were in a circle, traffic circle, and we were exiting, and someone just came from the right and just just like. And the guy was blaming him because he was driving. The guy's like, it's your fault. You saw me coming. Why didn't you stop? Charlie, we are in a circle. And you're entering the circle. Oh. So that's another video, guys. But now let's continue with the life mm -hmm. update. So the next one is traveling during COVID-19. Wow. Okay. Well, when we went to Ghana, it was during COVID-19. So... A we, lot of testing and we had to do COVID tests here yeah. in Edmonton just to help you out. The COVID test here in Edmonton and it was like 193 Canadian each person. Mm -hmm. So let's say roughly with tax, let's just let's just add it up and say roughly 200 a person, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, what other things did we need to do? We had to download an app. Um, I can't remember the name, but. We had to make sure we upload our whatever we had covid covid vaccination and, and everything yeah so the whole prepping thing was a whole book Ugh. it was just and when we got to ghana too we have to pay 150, 150 US, us dollars each. actually we had to pay it before we leave Otherwise, here in Edmonton, when we are leaving, they would not let us leave without paying, paying for, for it. that one. Yeah. So we had to pay online 150 US dollars for us to be tested in Ghana when we land. This is like 24 hours after, after we we've tested, tested here in Canada. So to us, that was unnecessary, but Ghana has their own policies. So yeah, we did a test here, roughly 200. We did another test when we got to Ghana. That was one fifty US dollars. And so when we were coming when back, we, were coming we, back, we, we had did to do another test. Yeah. Another hundred and fifty US dollars each to come back. And of course, when we landed in Canada, because we had the vaccines, we didn't have to like unless they had, you know, kind of randomly selected us. Yeah. Or you have symptoms then. Then no. we would have had to test at that point, but yeah. we were not randomly selected. We were just told welcome home, and and that was it. So the the whole struggle for me, not struggle necessarily, but the whole uh, stress was like, why do we need to pay to test here, and then twenty four hours, hours later, later we have to we pay test Anna. in Ghana again? Yeah, right. That was just money money grabbing yeah. ghana ghana anyway so this year we we're planning to that is if we can afford it like do a little little uh internal trips you know like a night to bound for a night to uh jasper okay you're stepping out of the zone here let's finish 2021 okay so 2021 oh we want to grow our youtube channel in 2022 in 2022 yeah well 2021 
so yeah 2021 was a very very challenging year like i said um but thank god we're here very healthy and big <laughs> and big. <laughs> <laughs> and big so yeah <laughs> oh gosh um in 2022 um the the ultimate goal is to grow our youtube channel guys yeah so we want to expand our family we want to grow with you guys we want to you know do more things here we want to change our content up a little bit too yeah. so you'll see those coming we so just, yeah please don't forget to share subscribe and thumbs up if you like the video or you like the video so just hit it you know smash that button um Thank you very much. And you have something to say? No, I guess we are wrapping this video up. Uh, yeah. So thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber already, please press that red subscribe button. And don't forget to share and give us a like. Until next time, guys. You heard me. Bye. Peace. I'm just waiting, I was just waiting.